Hey guys, it's Broyu Wax. So I just want to bring you guys to just a quick little Modern Warfare Remastered video and just show you guys what I feel like is just the overall best class in Modern Warfare Remastered for lower levels. At the end of the video, I will show you guys what I feel like is just the best overall class. Now, I try not to put my own personal play style into this created class. I just try to use the any kind of situation goes. This is your go-to class on any type of map. And that is the M16 with the red dot. Now, so many people were talking about the M16. So many people were just saying, oh, I'm going to one burst people. And that's that's because the M16 is just one of the best guns in the game. Now, I feel like there are other good guns in the game like the MP5 and the uh, M16 Carbine or even the AK. The M16 though is just your go-to gun for any type of situation on your long range maps, on your short range maps. Now obviously the MP5 will be better on the short range maps and then the AK will be better for an assault rifle roll on their shorter maps and then the sniper rifles will be better on the long range maps. But like I said before, this is just your go-to gun. Now the red dot you do not unlock right away. You do have to put on the grenade launcher you don't have to use the actual grenade launcher though so so do not be using the grenade launcher in a game against me just throw it on and get 25 kills and you will be able to get the red dots uh this just will give the, the red dot with the m16 is just so good the iron sights are terrible on this gun but i really do like the red dot on this gun now for the sidearm it really does not matter because i don't really use the sidearm all too much since so many people are brand new to the game i just switch to my secondary and then pick up like an mp5 or an m16 off the ground and just go with that but if i did have to pick one I like the M1911. It's just I, it's just one of the better uh, pistols in my opinion, and I just threw on a silencer just because I can throw on a silencer. As terms of the tactical, I like the stun grenade because when people are running away from me, I can just toss that and they can slow them down and I can get the kill like that. The flash grenade I feel like is more for shorter, uh, shorter range maps, but only really for that. The stun grenade can be in any type of situation. That's just me personally, uh, and let's not, let's not push it up in here anyway so the for the first perk this kind of sucks because there's not really a lot of good perks when you're a lower level it kind of does get interesting at the lower at the higher levels but certain of the lower level there's not really much to choose i just chose the rpg times two because a lot of people are going to be getting helicopters and you can shoot them down if you do have that ready as terms of the secondary perk this is where things can get interesting because there is stopping power there is juggernaut there is sleight of hand this is kind of unlocked later on in the levels but with the m16 stopping power is just a must to one burst people trust me this will just get you insta kills bruh stopping power plus the m16 with red dot bruh it is just awesome i don't try to encourage juggernaut because it does get annoying sometimes but the only time that i would suggest to use juggernaut if is if you're just so trash at the game if you're just now learning the game this will give you a little bit more edge on people that are more decent but like i said try to graduate to stopping power and try to use this as much as possible as terms of the third perk this is where things also got a little bit tricky because at first i was using extreme condition and then I switch over to deep impact and I chose deep impact because I feel like there's a lot of walls that you can't shoot with the M16 and if you didn't have this perk on you wouldn't get the kill but if you do throw on deep impact then you would get the kill and you will just be much more happier with that steady aim this is the only time I would use it on a submachine gun but since we're using the M16 just stick with deep impact extreme conditioning maybe only used for a sniper rifle but like I said deep impact for the best class in the game and that is just the best class for lower levels if we switch over to private match i do have a creative class for the higher levels now it's kind of like the same thing with the m16 with the red dot and this cool little look at how shiny it is. this just looks so dope man and the desert eagle it's unlocked at level 46 but this is just one of the most powerful sidearms in the game you can even use it as a primary it won't be a good primary it's barely a good secondary but it's so powerful it's like a mini shotgun in your hand and same thing a uh, stun a stun grenade right there i chose bandolier because uh, for me my personal play style i try to go on long kill streaks i mean i'm sure that's what a lot of people try to do and if i just have those extra magazines extra bullets then i won't have to rely on a crappy secondary weapon i find on the floor same thing stopping power m16 just it's just a god tier perk and right here dead silence since i do have a headset and i and i like to play free for all lots i want to hear people's footsteps i want to hear the pitter patter so i throw on dead silence but since you unlock this at a lower level i won't have it unlocked right away but if you do have a headset throw on dead silence if you don't have a headset just listen to your tv then just stick with deep impact or maybe even steady aim or extreme conditioning but dead silence it is a good third tier perk and that is what i feel like is the best class in the game let me know what you think maybe you disagree with me who knows but share this video with anyone that's trying to get better at modern warfare remastered and like i said this is just your go-to class it's not going to be it's not going to get you insta kills it's not going to get you uh, like 50 kills every single game but it will get you a little bit better at the game it takes practice with the m16 the m16 is a really good gun 
but it takes practice, it takes adjusting since it is a three round burst. So anyway guys, I love you guys, thank you guys for watching, and more videos to come, and bye!